Hey y'all, it's Nessa Poo Quarter Cocktail. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Trap. And if you are returning, welcome Poo Poo. So this is a love reading for Scorpio, Summer Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on for y'all in love. Um, keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. Okay. <laughs> I'll just play y'all. If they don't, you can check out your moon rising on your Venus sign. And you can take what's for you and leave the rest. Let's jump on in. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Spirit, what's going on for Scorpios for love? Give us the tea. Give us the tea. Scorpios, y'all can have somebody new or just going towards something new that's making you more grounded. Yeah, somebody who want to build with you. person could have been keeping a close eye on you as well or you have yeah this person will take a leap of faith yeah some of y'all coming to realization that it's just things that you can't change. And like some of y'all thinking about walking away from a commitment that keep on going round and round in circles. Some of y'all thinking about walking away from a tourist. Y'all just coming to realization like, hey, I mean, it is what it is. So I have to go towards something new. There is somebody. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. Somebody that you got unfinished business with, honey. There's somebody in your energy that's loyal. Okay. And I feel like this person that's loyal is a new person. But spirit is about to, the higher power is about to show you something. Is about to take. I mean, like, make you take some type of break. So you can see that somebody's not completely out of a situation yet. They trying to mend things with you, but I feel like it's only, like, this person is wearing a false mask. They're being fake. Something that this person is hiding. They have unfinished business elsewhere, but they steady trying to give to you. So this per you need to detach from this person. I feel like this person is going to eventually end up detaching from you. This person's not telling you the truth about something. And I feel like you guys, yeah, and I feel like that chapter is about to close. Could be a Libra. Somebody's not being honest about a situation. Could be a Cancer. Some of you guys, a Cancer or a Libra, balance you out. Could be a Taurus. But somebody's having heavy uh, anxiety about a commitment. Yeah, could be an Aquarius as well. I told y'all, okay. I told y'all. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, mm. I'm trying to tell y'all. I uh, found somebody. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all got something else waiting for y'all. Somebody's not telling you the truth about something. Somebody is, is not telling you the truth about something. Somebody that you got a foundation with is telling hell of lies. But you got a decision to make on what you're going to do with this person. So it's somebody who's actually waiting on you. They really want something with y'all. So 
I'm only getting rejected. <laughs> so, John, y'all got new love. But somebody's feeling like defeated. Y'all feeling defeated. But y'all need to just take a step back because this is something new that you need to move towards. Yeah, something that's going to make you real passionate too. It's going to be real passionate. <clears throat> and I feel like the universe is about to make you take some sort of break so you can see some things. They're, they're about to reveal some things to you. I feel like this new person is truthful. They're honest. They sex is good. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Look, Ace of Cups again. Excuse me, Ace of Cups again. Let me out fighting it though. Don't fight it. Because I feel like the universe is stepping in. The universe is about to step in to make you see some things for what it is. Don't completely cut this person out. Um, somebody needs a burden. <laughs> somebody have a lot going on right now. Like a lot. Somebody feel like it's it's too much to reconcile right now. Yeah, could be a Leo. But somebody's being rejected here. Yeah, could be a Gemini. It's a chapter that's about to close. And somebody's about to be very sad. Very, very sad. Yeah, something's finna end. Possibly with the fire sign because somebody was like feeling stuck. It'll be an Aries. Somebody's about to take back control and actually give a um give something enough, give somebody else another chance. Give somebody else a chance. Some of y'all, this person is still holding on to you, but they don't want to do right by you. Could be a Libra. Yeah, mother, father, your child. Libra, Taurus, or Aries. Yeah. But there's new love, y'all. We got three aces here that you need to be working on. But you got anxiety about it. I feel like this person, y'all juggling. I feel. Y'all better go ahead and take it. This person gonna walk away. And I feel like this is a person that could be for you. This, pe this person is a player. I can't make this shit up. This person is a player. And they playing mad games. They're going to end up leaving you out in the cold. This person is being slick. This, this person is going to sit here and walk away. They being deceptive. I'm telling you, walk away from this person. This is what you're not seeing with this person. Yeah, moon card. You're not seeing this. But... Judgment day is here. Judgment call is about to come to an end. About to get unstuck and actually go towards this other person. Because they about to bring something. Yeah, they about to bring something towards you. And they're coming together. You're going to walk away from them. This person is stable. Yeah, king, king, queen of coins. Yeah, but let's see intuition. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, this person coming in to reconcile. 
I feel like this cycle is finna close. Y'all about to close some cycle with a person that, that left you um, sadness or regret. Y'all about to close that chapter. Let your friends help you worth waiting for. Yeah, this person is toxic. Yeah, they're your soulmate. They might even have good sex, but some of y'all need to disconnect. Some of y'all could be married to this person. Or you need to wait for this other, this new person because this could potentially be your person. Any more spirit to spread here? Any more spirit to spread here? Yeah, and it's safe for you to love this person. That's what they're telling you. soulmate yeah manifesting this person in chemistry finances and career give me one more please you're gonna have real good chemistry with this person heart to heart conversation this person may be different from you though this person not gonna be your usual type of person Adjustments are required, yeah. Changes need to be made. Yeah, believe in the impossible. Some of you guys are lacking faith. Meditate and contemplate. One more, please. Emotions are running high. Don't let your pride get in the way. Full Moon and Leo. So... You guys, you guys need to meditate. I'm not going to lie. But there are some changes that need to go on in your love life. I feel like you need to release this other person. This other person is going to try to come back in, reconcile. And, but I feel like spirit is giving you a break. Because um, to let you know that somebody's not completely out of a situation. And they mending that with, with somebody else. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Please go over to my Instagram, hit that follow button. I do collective messages over there. I would definitely appreciate from you guys. Other than that, that is it. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.